Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another Holidays with the Housewife video. Today I have a really fun easel card for you. This is my Christmas Bells easel card. How pretty is that front cover panel? You have those holiday bells there in the middle. You have this really intricate design here on the outside for the trim. The card pops up just like that, revealing the Christmas sentiment. And there's a spot on the inside for your message. Of course, I include an envelope as well. Now this card is really simple to put together and I can't wait to show it to you. Before we get started, make sure to hit like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any card making fun. And with that, let's get into the materials. For this project, you're gonna need your Cricut cutting machine, your standard grip or light grip cutting mat, scoring wheel or scoring stylus, scraper, weeding tool, brayer, your glue and adhesive. You're going to need some foam squares and of course your cardstock. Now that we know all of our different materials, let's go ahead and get started with step one. Step one, get the SVG cut file. This project is part of Holidays with the Housewife 2024. If you're watching this video during the event, you can access the cut file from the event page at thebeardedhousewife.com slash holiday dash event. If you are a VIP access pass holder, the download button for the cut file is below this video. If you're watching this video after the event has ended, you can purchase the individual cut file in my shop at shop.thebeardedhousewife.com. If you're interested in the VIP access pass, that gives you full access to all 12 event files, printable worksheets, bonus cut files, and commercial licensing, you can head to thebeardedhousewife.com slash HWTH2024. I have links to all of these in the description box below. No matter how you get the cut file, make sure that you download the file to your computer, unzip the file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step 2. Upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Now that we have a new project open in Cricut Design Space, we can go ahead and click Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click Open, Continue, and Upload. Step 3. Convert score lines and any text. And you can see that the project has been brought into our canvas. Let's go ahead and ungroup the design. We have some converting to do to some of the score lines, so let's scroll down the layers panel and find the envelope. Click on this little icon to drop down the layers. Highlight this top layer. Change those to score. Highlight the group and attach. Now for the card base, click on the little icon. Highlight that top layer. Change it to score. Highlight the group and attach. Once those two pieces have been converted, go ahead and click Make. And you can see the different mats for this project. Click Continue. I'll be using a variety of medium weight cardstock for this project. I'm going to go ahead and get everything cut out and I'll see you when it's time to assemble. Step 4. Cut out the design. Step 5. 
assemble your card. All right, so I have everything all cut out, so it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to layer the front cover panel. Now I do have a layering guide within the download that will help visualize how to layer all these different pieces together. But from back to front, you're going to start with the dark green, then the yellow, then orange, red, and then this light green decorative piece. I'm going to go ahead and layer everything together and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all finished. All right, there is that fun front cover panel. I'm gonna set that to the side for a minute. Now let's go ahead and layer the sentiment layer. There we go. Set that to the side. Now we can mat and layer our messaging panel. And set that to the side. Now we can take our card base and fold and burnish along the score lines. There are two score lines. I'm just gonna fold them both as mountain folds. open the card base up and we can attach the messaging panel to the inside. I'm going to add the messaging panel between the two score lines. Go ahead and close up the card. And now I'm going to add glue along this bottom edge here below that score line. And now we can take our front cover panel, making sure to line up the edges. Just like that. Now go ahead and open up the card base. Let's add some foam squares to the back of the sentiment layer. Now we can take that. There's a little scored X that's going to be on this card base. You can't really see it on camera, but I'm going to use that as a guide on where to center this sentiment layer. And now the card will stand up. I'm gonna set that to the side so it can go ahead and dry. Now let's go ahead and make the envelope. For the envelope, we're gonna fold and burnish along the score lines. Take our inlay panel, add glue along the outer edge of the inlay. Flip the inlay over place it over the cutout on the envelope flap. Spin the envelope around. Now because of those foam squares, there is a little bit of dimension to this card, so I would suggest placing it inside the envelope and then folding those side flaps in. Add glue to the bottom of the side flaps. With your thumbs, go ahead and push up and press and that forms your envelope and our card is all set how fun was this card i think that it adds a little bit of tradition and nostalgia to your card making 
I hope that you like it. If you make this card, I hope that you share it in our Facebook group. We have thousands of card making and paper crafting friends who love to motivate and support each other and we would love to see your creations. There's a link down below for you to check it out. That's going to do it for today. I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife, and I will see you at the next Holidays with the Housewife video. Bye bye!